one. I want to come to you again to talk to you just a few minutes and read a few verses of scripture. Lord Jesus, today we come to you one more time to thank you and praise you and glorify your holy name. For because of your grace through faith we are saved. And by your grace and mercy we're still here today. We're still in the land of the living. And we, we give you all the glory. I pray, O oh Lord, you'll allow me speak the words of understanding. And people may understand what you're saying, Lord. And help me to help someone along the way. And we won't forget to give you the praise for it all in Jesus' name. We do pray. Amen. Now, I want to read you a few verses of Scripture in the great book of John. Chapter number 1. And this is coming from the King James Bible. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This Word is a living. It is very much alive. And Jesus Christ is that living word from the beginning until the end. And if we reject one word, whether it be in the Old Testament or whether it be in the New, we're rejecting God because He is a living word. Verse 2, the same was in the beginning with God. Verse 3, and all things were made by him, and without him was not, was not anything made that was made. Notice how he said that. Not anything made that was made or without him. Let me read this again now. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. He knows everything from the beginning to the end and everything in between and no man can deceive him because he knows all things. And all these words all these words are written to show us who God is and how he loved his creation how he loved you and I and he still loves us today verse 4 in him was life and the life was the light of men His life that he gave on the cross brought light to you and me that we could see through him. And we could see how he worked 
through the ages of time and brought salvation to you and I. Verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The darkness could not prevent. God foreseeth all things, for he is a master of the darkness, same as he is of the day. And it's all made by him. Verse 6. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Verse 7. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He chose John. Now, this was John the Baptist to make a way for him to shine the light that he was coming. That he would come to this earth as a baby. And shine a light to all those that believe that would come to him. That they could see who Jesus Christ really was. The Son of God. And he was the light that we need to follow. Verse 8. He was not the light, that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. In other words, John wasn't the light, but he was a witness to bear witness of the true light, which was him, the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 9, that was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He showed the whole world who he was. Through this kind of birth. But let me tell you, my friends, my loved ones, whoever it may be, Jesus Christ is that light. And if we're going to walk in the light, we've got to walk in Him. We can't walk in no one else. We can't follow no one else. For He is the light. And He is the living Word. People may change His Word around to suit them. But that does not change a word that's settled forever in heaven. And Jesus Christ is that living word. Whether they want him or not, that is up to us. But let me tell you one thing. Those that reject that light, they are rejecting God. And if they reject God, the only hope for them is to come to the knowledge of truth and repent of their sins and, and accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their own personal Savior. And He will come in unto them and sup with them and make His abode with them. But also, let me make clear, there's got to be a drawing spirit 
from the Lord to draw them that they might be saved. Some people teach that a person can be saved any time they want to be, but they can be saved when the Spirit is drawing them. That Spirit, when it's drawing them, it's working with them. It's wooing them. It's bidding them to come to Him, to His outstretched arm that He has outstretched to the lost and dying world. And they want Him to ask Him to come in, forgive them, and save their soul, and confess to Him that they believe He is the Christ, the true and living God, and that He was crucified, and He was laid in the tomb, and He rose the third day, according to the scriptures and confess he is the Lord Jesus Christ and then he will gloriously save their soul but I wonder today as I look in these scriptures how many really believe he is the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and that He is the living Word from the beginning until the end. And let me tell you, my friend, He was very much in the beginning when God created this world and let me tell you my friend we've got to accept that if we're going to be his child what I'm talking about if we're to be born again be saved we got to believe that and believe he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him that will seek him with their whole heart and know he is their savior and I know this is a short scripture and I've just read but there's a lot in this scripture and I pray that each one would take it to heart and look more closely into it the great love he had for us that he would send John to prepare the way for his coming that we could believe when he got here. Lord, now we come to the end of this little service. Lord, this is a few scriptures. We pray that you reach down and bless each one. Open the ear, touch your heart, and anoint them with your Holy Spirit they may understand how marvelous it is to have you the living word abiding in our heart that we may help someone along the way in Jesus name we pray amen and thank you father for your love your mercy you have had towards us